dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. As we gather to worship our living God, God who loves you, God who calls you in, his, in your name, by your name, who is always giving us a second chance, always who is ready to embrace you and me, we will experience him today. While worshipping him and giving him the glory that he due, we are going to invite the Holy Spirit to our home, your home and to my home, to you and to me. Let us invite, let us welcome the Holy Spirit Jesus gave a promise when he has gone back to be with the Father. He said, I'm going to send you a comforter. We are going to sing now. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Let us sing together. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. You fill us with your power. Oh, live inside of me. You live inside of me. Let us sing again, inviting him to your heart, to my heart. Welcome, oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Send forth your Holy Spirit. We need to be comforted. Take complete control. Oh Jesus, send forth your Holy Spirit. him you fill us with your power you live inside of me once again let us ask him to fill us with your power in well To you and me, he sent forth his spirit to you, to your families, to your children, 
to your father, to your mother, husband and wife. Because Jesus said, when we do not know how to pray, Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray. We are going to pray. In this moment of need, we are longing for His love. And we are going to praise Him today. So let us say from the depth of our heart, to the magnificent God, to the glorious and victorious King, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise Him. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah, God. Praise be to your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jesus. You are the beginning. You are the end. Hallelujah. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega. The whole creation is made through you, for you. Thank you. We give you glory, my God. Praise you, Lord. We know there is no other God like you. We know none like you. So every knee shall bow before you. Every tongue may confess that you are the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank let, you, us, Lord. let us praise my God. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, you, open your mouth. Let your tongue confess Jesus is Lord. For he said, I cast for you. I love you. And my love is abandoned. Let us once again welcome Holy Spirit. Invite Him to your families so that we will freely praise Him. Welcome Holy Spirit. Welcome Holy Spirit. We are in your prayer. Fill us with your power. You fill us with your power. Oh God, live inside of me. You live inside. Let us invite him once again. I need to change, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit come to me. Let the Holy Spirit take all filth from me. Every Every insane thing within me, you fill us take it away, power. God. Please live inside of us. You live inside of us. Praise you, Jesus. Praise be your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed Praise be your name, you Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let my whole self give you glory, Lord Jesus. Let myself give you glory. Whatever belongs to me, give you glory, my God. Because you are the true God. You are the only God. God of gods, Lord of lords. Praise be to you. You are the provider. You are the victorious God. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, Psalm 63 reminds us the power of God, the glory of God. Oh God, you are my God. For you I long, for you my body yearns, for you my soul Thirst. Let us tell him that whole self that we need him because he is our God. Like a land parched, lifeless, and without water. God, I need thee. I need your grace in my family. 
for praising you God to accepting you as my savior God so I look to you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory for your love is better than life my lips offer you worship my God dear brothers and sisters let's our whole self give glory to God whatever we think whatever we do whatever we plan let everything make you glory to our God for he is worthy of praises praise be to your name Jesus 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 you are my God Jesus you are my Lord God you are everything my God you are the beginning and the end my God you are the source of life my God oh God for your love is better than life my lips offer you worship I will bless you as long as I live yes my God till the end of my life I praise you my God I will lift up my hands my God calling on your name my soul shall savor the rich banquet of your praise my God with joyous lip my mouth shall honor you when I think of you upon my bed through the mighty watches I will recall that you indeed are my help and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy yes God you are my hope you always waiting for me to come to you and today I will glorious name remembering your glorious work deed I come before you to glorify you praising you God let my children worship you their children their generation may worship you God for that I am sure and I know there is no other God like you you created the heaven and the earth you are there. You are the living God. Praise be your Jesus. Yes. Blessed be your name, Jesus. I come Praise before be you today. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. And there's just one thing that I want to say. We want to say thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you for giving me an opportunity Lord. to praise you, to worship thank you, to glorify you, you to acknowledge you. To follow you, to be with you, God. Yes, Jesus. Thank For you, all Jesus. the blessings that I cannot see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So once again, I come before you. I come before you today. Let us go before God. Just one thing that I want to say Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord For all you've given to me For all the blessings that I cannot see For your family, thank you for the breath of your life with grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched heart. I will bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Just thank him. Thank you. Lord. Thank him. Thank you for your family. Thank you for this very moment in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
we love you, God. For all you've done in my life. For all you've done in my life. You took my darkness and gave me your life. Yes, life. Jesus. Thank you. Me taken away my sins. My sin and my shame. Yes, Jesus. I need to thank you. you. Took my I like to thank you. I love day. to thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, with a grateful heart. With a grateful heart. With a song of praise. With, song of praise. with outstretched with arms. Outstretched I bless, bless your, name. your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Let us thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank God who provides you, all our needs. Lord. God who forgives us always. God who loves us. God who walk with us in our life, who take us a journey, journey of faith. Let us thank Him as we thank Him for everything in our life. Very prayerfully, very prayerfully. Once again, say thank you, Lord, very softly. And thank you, Lord. Close your eyes and let us thank the Lord thank you, for your family, Lord. for yourself. Thank for God you, is going Lord. to give you another I chance today. His caring love. I just want to bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. As we are praising and thanking our God, He's waiting to speak to our hearts. He has a very special message to give us. A message that will warm up our hearts. Let us open our hearts to listen to that word. Holy Spirit, come into our hearts. Open our hearts to receive the message the Lord is giving us. Let us sing together. Have your way Have your way
from the gospel according to Luke chapter 15 verses 1 to 7 the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to him but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain saying this man welcomes sinners and eats with them so to them he addressed this parable what man among you having a hundred sheep and losing one of them would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it and when he does find it he sets it on his shoulders with great joy upon his arrival home he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep I tell you in just the same way there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, our God is a God of second chances. Indeed, we are meant to be, destined to be, created to be first chance winners. As St. Paul tells us, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, we are the handiwork of God, prepared and sent into the world for a good thing we need to be doing. We are the handiwork, not that word. We are not mass produced as copies from a printed machine. No. We are the handiwork each one of us created by the hands of God and sent into the world to be winners with a plan, Jeremiah 29.11, a plan for our good future, for our prosperity. And therefore, those who are first chance winners, we call blessed and fortunate. But Jesus came to tell us, even when we are losers, having lost everything, having lost our way, having lost our future, having lost our family, even when we are losers, we are not less fortunate. We are not less blessed. In fact, we are more loved, more cared for, more sought after by our God. And that's what our God is, a God of second chances. I was once invited to give a talk to the young entrepreneurs of the country. And before the talk, the organizers told me, Father, these are very intelligent people. And be ready for questions. I said, oh, sure. They said there are young people, very creative people, bold people from all religions. I said, I love it. And the topic was relevance of God in the corporate world. I started speaking. And as I started speaking, a hand went up. Father, do you believe in God? I said, yes. That's why I'm here to talk to you about God. What is the name of your God? Another question. I said, the name of my God is the Good Shepherd. And why? Another question. Because I said, Jesus said, he is the good shepherd. He goes after 
the lost sheep leaving the 99 in the desert oh another one with the laughter said so your god is a very poor leader leaders want followers to clap for them to vote for them to bring them to power if god is a very poor leader oh yeah yes i said my god is a very poor leader but a great lover he loves even when i am wounded even when i make a mistake even when i fail him he does not get offended and keep away from me he comes in search of me to pick me up holding me close to his heart to give me a second chance perhaps better than the first chance i remember a young girl came to me in fact she was brought to me by compulsion i knew it later she herself said it father i did not want to come to you especially because you're a priest you're a man of god i don't want to hear anything about god because i'm a curse i should not have been born and to cut a long story short the story is this very intelligent girl doing her phd doctorate in the university that's when she met a young man and she was trapped in that relationship she ran away with him and stayed in another state for a few months she got pregnant and that's when he said no i don't want a child i want you not a child go for an abortion she was compelled to go for an abortion with that the whole man changed he abandoned her and she did not know where he went she felt used and thrown she felt forsaken guilty she felt as as come having no reason to live anymore all the reason she said father all the reason i had to live was he is not there for me anymore she did not know where to go she was frightened she came home and she's there in a room not talking to anyone having lost her way and her friends brought her to me i spoke to her my sister you are not a curse you are not a scum you are precious to the lord i told her about mary of magdala the woman who held on to the feet of jesus when all his disciples abandoned him the woman god chose the risen lord chose to manifest his glory for the first time after the resurrection the woman the lord chose to send to give the good news of the resurrection even to the disciples the fathers of the church call her the first apostle i told her you were so precious to the lord you have a choice to proclaim what god is going to do to you a new creation that god wants to make of you she was listening to me and she cried a lot i told her my sister attend the retreat she did attend the retreat and today she went back to the university she continues her doctorate a very thankful girl for what god has done for her you know my dear brothers and sisters the fact 
I lost my way does not mean I lost my God. The fact I'm not good, according to my estimate, does not mean you are not good. God has a plan for you. When Adam and Eve committed a sin, offended God, God had a second chance for them. Promising the Savior, the lost paradise was to be regained by them. Remember the good thief on the cross telling him, today you shall be with me in paradise. But the Lord wants, is waiting, is waiting to tell every one of us, today you shall be with me in paradise. A young man came for a retreat. He came to see me. And he said, Father, you will never understand me. You will never like what I am going to say. I told him, my friend, God understands you. And God loves you. If God loves you, I have no reason not to love you. If God understands you, I have no reason not to understand you. And, she, and he said, Father, I'm a homosexual. I'm born a homosexual. By my nature, I'm a homosexual. By my choice, I'm a homosexual. By my appetite, sexual appetite, I'm a homosexual. I told him, my friend, I understand you. I love you very much. I have only a little spark of God's love in my heart. With that little spark, I'm able to love you. I'm able to understand you. If that is so, the fire of love that God is, God loves you. But I told him, I understand you, that you are a homosexual by choice. You are a homosexual by sexual appetite, I understand you, but you are not born a homosexual. You are not by nature a homosexual. Every person is born, created, male and female, and that means with the attraction towards the other sex. To form a family, to beget children and be there in the presence of God rejoicing as a family. That is the Bible, the Word of God. The Word of God cannot be wrong. I told him, my friend, you're made a homosexual. And that is the truth. When I said this, he wept aloud said his story. He was born in America of Indian parents. And when he was only five years old, his mother divorced his father. His mother divorced his father to marry a man, a very rich man of that country. And they moved into that mansion of that rich man after divorce. The stepfather, the stepfather would come to him every night. He was only six years old and sexually used him. He did not know what was happening. He felt terribly sad, guilty, angry, did not know what to do. This man told him, if you tell this to your mother, I will kill you. And the boy was totally confused. And one day he could not but say to his mother, this is what is happening to me. The mother cried and said, my son, I knew this. It is for your sake he married me not for my sake. 
if we go away from him he will take revenge on us moreover we will lose all this mansion and all the luxury we are living in take it as much as you can he said father i hated my mom things went on and as he was in the college he began to have a companion himself in sexuality i told him my friend i ask you i ask you pardon for the sake of your mother for the sake of your stepfather for the sake of the whole world that destroyed you but god loves you and he stayed with us for a full month i prayed with him every day well today is gone back to the states is married happily married with a son a god is a god of second chances whoever might have destroyed me perhaps my own sin may have destroyed me my god will never abandon me he is a god the good shepherd coming after me to search for me to hold me close to him and give me a new life and therefore five things one i need to know who my god is the complaint of god is i do not know my god isaiah chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 my people do not know me the ox knows its owner the ass knows its crib my people do not know me come come and let us be reconciled often we think of god as a policeman trying to catch me in the act or a magistrate waiting to condemn me or a power or whatever other ideas we have about god jesus came to tell us who god is the good shepherd waiting to come after me when i am wounded to hold me close to him and take me home and give me blessedness of life second thing to believe in this god thomas john chapter 20 verse 27 Thomas was a wounded man wounded because he felt left out when the risen lord appeared to his friends he was not there he refused to believe when the friends told him that the lord was risen he waited waited for the lord and the lord came stood before him and called him thomas come i know you are wounded I know you feel isolated and lonely. Come, put your finger into my glorious wound. Every wounded person is invited by the Lord, as Jesus called Thomas by name. Every wounded person is called by the Lord by name. Come, put your finger into my wound. I am wounded for you to heal your wounds. The third thing to surrender. the past we cannot live in the past we need to let the past go and that's what god wants isaiah 43:18 do not even remember your past things of old i'm waiting to do a new thing in your life in the desert i will make a way my brother my sister whatever wilderness whatever rejection what of a sorrow despair guilt scorching heat of the desert that you find you are in the lord is telling you i will cut a way open for you to my heart and the fourth thing wait for the holy spirit jesus said john 35 become a new creation reborn reborn and saint paul explained Second Corinthians five seventeen. What's important is to be new creation. The old is gone. 
what i need to believe the old is gone the new is come the lord is waiting to usher in the new at every moment the new is come and the faith abide in me to abide in jesus to be united with him to bear fruit abundant fruit the fruits of the holy spirit moses stands before us in the bible what god is waiting to do to you and to me moses a child of a slave born as a slave thrown away into the river and picked up made a prince in egypt but very angry prince a prince who hit and killed a prince frightened a prince ran away as a refugee living a meaningless life there and god picked him up again and made him the great leader of the chosen people of god to liberate israel from the slavish nation moses the weak the meekest of all men book of numbers chapter 12 verse 3 what god wants to make of you and me a glorious apostle a glorious prophet and all that is needed is to leave the past and give my life in the hands of god for him to bind up my wounds and make me a new creation let us look at the face of the lord and worship him and adore him and surrender all the woundedness in us to him majesty worship his majesty Jesus 
who died now glorified come to us in the form of bread to manifest his love to us his love to bind up our wounds to forgive our past and to give us a new future majesty Your majesty, O oh Lord, your authority, your greatness, your power is your mercy, your love, the authority that goes after the lost sheep, the majesty that bends over to pick up the wounded sheep, the greatness of holding on to that wounded bleeding strayed sheep close to the heart Lord here I am waiting to be picked up I'm lost I have lost my way I'm not a first chance winner I have lost my way I often dream of the great things I could have done of the great laurels I could have achieved the great glory I could have come to I have lost my way Lord there is guilt aching in my heart despair lurking in my heart I blame myself today I blame a lot of people today but Lord in my woundedness I'm waiting coming to you you are inviting me to come to you as I am come. From wherever you've been Come broken heart Let rescue begin Come find your mercy Oh sinner come near Earth has no sorrow That heaven can't heal Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal So
Lord, I bring to you everyone I know who has lost the way and not found by you yet. They are hiding. They are languishing in their guilt, despair, and anger. Send your Holy Spirit. Send your Holy Spirit into their hearts that they may experience you, O God, as you said through Apostle Paul, Romans chapter 5, verse 5, through the Holy Spirit, the love of God is poured into our hearts and we are called to our hope, a hope that will never disappoint us. I pray, Lord, for everyone, everyone you have not been able to find yet, perhaps hiding from you, trying to slip away from your arms. Lord, hold them close to your heart. Never be tired of going in search of them. Lord, let them find you. You have found them already. Let them hand over their woundedness, their brokenness to you. Holy Spirit, come and fill us. There's hope for the hopeless and all those who stray. Come sit at the table, come taste the grace. There's rest for the weary, rest that and yours earth has no sorrow that heaven can cure earth has no sorrow that heaven can cure oh lord this moment of grace we surrender our country. We surrender our church. We surrender all our leaders. Send forth to your spirit, my God. Protect us from all that is evil. Protect the church from all kind of evilness. This is the moment, my God. We need your hands of protection. You are always with us. Let our bishops be filled with your Holy Spirit. So they will be guided to lead their flock. God, we surrender them to you. We surrender the entire Catholic Church in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. Be with us, God, in this very moment of need.
you have given them bread from heaven having itself all delight let us pray lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. Oh, my soul, was you? 